is uh, going to start off with some quadriplegic jokes. Um, <laughs> but uh, chance that that wouldn't be a good idea, that like people might not find that funny, so... <laughs> okay. So I relied on his advice and his mind sources, um, and I have some wonderful students in my class. Uh, Savannah Culpepper then, she gave me, she gave me something um, about dragon milk. She said, how do you get dragon milk? So I'm, I don't know, you know. From a cow with short legs. <laughs> wah, wah, wah. I don't know exactly what that means, but Savannah wrote a killer research paper, so I said, okay, I'm gonna start off with that one, rather than the quadriplegic jokes, but just me. <laughs> so then, um, you know, I, I told the students I needed a little help, you know, um, that I needed some jokes. And so Chris Tidwell came up and he said, I want about eggs, Ms. LeBray. And I said, great, great, tell me, please. And he said, which came first, the chicken or the egg? I said, I don't know. The chicken, of course, God couldn't lay an egg. I don't get it. You like that? Okay, I liked that one. I put that in here. Okay. Moving right along. So, so, um, I got a couple more. Um, <laughs> And you know, a lot of time, thank you, Chad. I, I I usually just play to crickets, so this is why I laugh at my own jokes. And so this one's about language. Um, Aaron Anderson said, or he had a question: What's more clever than speaking in several languages? Keeping your mouth shut in one, which is why I'm up here not being clever right now. <laughs> but but I'm bunch. Okay. Uh, good. I, you know, um, so Nabria Shear, she added um, something. She said, "Ms. Laura, I got one for you. Great. You know, I need something in my repertoire. This is for the Viking Boys. This is for a good cause." She said, um, "Don't worry. I only have a few more people." Uh, <laughs> she said, "Let's play horse. I'll be the front end. You just be yourself." I said, "No problem. No problem, lady." Yeah. 